welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be filming this easy and quick pink glittery skull look so the aim of this tutorial was to film something really cheap and to kind of find things that you might have lying around so I use the sleek acid palette you can pick this up really easily and cheaply and I'm just running it across the contours of my nose and up towards my eyebrows sort of underneath and um, I should probably mention that I've already done my foundation powder and concealer Taking my Anastasia Subculture palette, I am taking the colour Roxy and the colour New Wave. So it makes, if you've got an orange eyeshadow for this, great, um, but I didn't have one. So I'm just running it along the same contours as before. Now I'm taking that same hot pink that I used originally and I'm using it to contour my face along the jawline, under the cheekbones and buffing it along that hairline. This step is where you need to take the most time. The more blending you do, the better. Taking a purple shade, we're just going to start filling our brows in, just as you normally would. I'm just taking some of that purple colour that I used on my brows and I'm just using it to define my nose area. Then taking the hot pink, I'm just doing a slight flick upwards to add more dimension and more of a skull-like appearance. Then you want to go back to the hot pink and add in a little bit of that colour to your brows. Just gives them more dimension and kind of gives them that neon light look. Then I decided to go back in and define my cheekbones some more. Like I say, this look is just about playing around and blend, blend, blending. Now I'm taking the purple and I'm just gonna give myself a soft cut crease. Then I'm taking the white and just adding that to the mobile lid um, just to give it a bit of a shadow and a nice blended look because I'm gonna be adding the glitter there anyway. I'm now taking Hydro Mastic, which is more gentle than most glues but it's stronger than an eyelash glue um, and I'm just at popping some glitter that I got from eBay I think onto my lids. So I'm just smudging that same hot pink on the bottom lash line, adding some serious flicks and mascara and then I am just using my eyeliner, liquid one is best for this, just to make some little um, speckles. This is just trying to emulate the bone around the eye I guess on a skeleton but I think it adds something to the look so you just basically keep going keep fading those out taking the same glue again I am just going underneath my eye and creating like a teardrop shape um, like you've been crying basically and then over the top of that I'm adding the same glitter that I popped on my eyelids then I'm going back in with the glue and I'm adding another type of glitter. This is a pink chunky glitter. Again, it was from eBay. It's ones that I use in my nail art and it's really, any glitter will do. <laughs> now I'm lining my lips with the Kylie Jenner, um, I think this is Posy K lip kit. I don't particularly reach for this, but it's great for this Halloween look. Now taking that purple shade from the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to overline my lips. This is a great technique for making your lips look mega full. Um, basically the lip injections without the cost. Now I'm going in with liquid eyeliner and I'm adding in the smile and teeth section of the look. This I found quite difficult. So you're just striping down your lips and then I go in and add some shading, like tiny little diamonds to each line. Um, this makes it look realistic like it's teeth. Next I'm going in with my gel eyeliner, this is just one by Maybelline and I'm adding like a soft hollow of a nose. I then go over with a black eyeshadow which you can get in the sleek palette and just setting that and smoking it out a little bit more. Same technique that we used for under the eyes, I'm just going in the hollows of those teeth and adding some glitter. Using a highlighter, you're going to want to highlight any high points of the face. So I just did my forehead and my cheekbones and my chin. Final kind of steps are just to use those purples and pinks mixed together and kind of um, 
hollow out the neck, bringing it down just to bring the whole look in. Um, I don't have much definition here, but you're basically just gonna follow the contours of what you've already got. 